Hi, my name is Eva. I am seven years old and I'm in second grade. I love reading and I'm here to share with you a book that I really loved. It is called My Side of the Mountain by Jean George, a Newbery, Newbery Honor book. Okay, I didn't miss anything. Okay, <laughs> yeah, here's the cover. It is about a boy who decides to go off into the mountains with a knife, a ball of cord, cord or however it's pronounced, flint and steel, and some other sh and an axe. Um, and he is, decides that he's going to try to just survive on his own. It's a book about his survival. I really love those kinds of books. So. Yeah. No, I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything. Okay. I think kids who like to read this are who kids who, like me, like reading, like, yeah, like reading well of journalist books, and also some kids who just like reading. Um, there is no pictures in this book. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. I think that there's some, like, I just found one. Yes. There's like some of these little pictures and some diagrams, but that's all. That's mostly all. So this book is thick. That's what I like about it. Okay. There's a few pros and cons. My, there's a con. I think that this book may get a teensy weensy bit boring in some parts, and in some parts you don't know what it's doing, but my pro is that it's so explanatory, explanatory, and it so, it just so describes everything. It's just, yeah, he doesn't give up and there are some traumatizing moments, there are some happy moments, there are some silly moments, and it's like he's telling the story, not somebody else is telling the story. Like, oh, and he's a pet falcon called Fearful, yeah. He's a pet falcon called Fearful. You can kind of see her right here. And... He doesn't, he goes out into like the red woods because he's a city boy and he, because he's a city boy and he's just tired of all, of all the cars and buildings and noise. That's probably, I might do this someday. Okay, maybe. This book made me feel adventurous, risky, because he does take some risks and it made me feel happy, proud of Sam, because he's very brave to do this kind of thing. I don't, I don't think that this is a true story. It is a scholastic book, so I have no idea. It might just be to teach you some things, because it does teach you things. And it is a very cool book. It explained all of the tools that you'd need. And it showed how he made stuff. He made, like, almost everything he owned. He even made his house. And it's, I think it's pretty creative how, about how he made his house. But I don't want to give that up. I don't want to tattletale on the book. I don't want to give it away. And I really, really hope that you can read this book. And I hope that you can watch me again. Bye.